So how do you get to Carnegie? Well, the old joke is practice, practice, practice. And that's true. It's no joke. It truly is a lifetime of work. All of the lessons, all of the people that you've worked with have brought me to this point. I have been so fortunate to have amazing support from all the people that I love, and I am so blessed to work with the best young people. So I prepare for a concert by trying to get a good night's sleep. I go for a run in the morning, it always helps me clear my head. I have a bre good breakfast, always eat before the concert. Um, I'll talk to the kids and I'll tell them how special they are and that they've got this, that they've worked so hard to, to be able to get there. Then I take time to reflect. I say a personal prayer and I ask for guidance. I definitely do that before every time I step out onto the podium. I've had some great mentors in my life, but the most important one has been Henry Lund. He changed my life. You know, before I met him, I didn't know anything about children's choirs, but he inspired me and taught me so much. There was a passion inside of me and he awakened that. And I wanna pay that for it. And I wanna give and share that passion with everyone that I meet. So Henry took me under his wing because he said he saw something in me. He said to me one time, I just kept showing up and giving it my all. And in that, I'm not special. Anyone can do that if they give it their best and they keep showing up every day. You know, I think that's how you really get to Carnegie Hall. You just keep showing up every day and you give it 100%. And that's what I strive to do every day. And that's what every one of these singers deserves from me.